Welcome to CRF Global. My name is Ryan Fergus and I'm going to show you how to use the communicator application. Um, first of all we have to install it and I've downloaded it from the website from the link provided. Uh, so the communicator application is an application that allows you to communicate with your instruments um, quite simply. Um, it's to work with serial devices, GPIB devices and uh, LAN setups. Predominantly we have two modes of operation. Uh, we have a uh, visa mode which sits on top of the visa application and then it will work with Agilent, ProLogix and National Instruments. Then we have a non-visa mode which really will only support ASRL, uh, LAN and um, ProLogix devices. Um, so now the device is actually installed um, so the next stage is to is to run it. Before that, I'll tell you about the description of the setup that I have. Currently, I've got two ProLogix um, GPIBs and an Agile MXE sitting on the bus. So I've got three addresses. Um, so what we'll do is we'll communicate the we'll setup to ProLogix as devices and then we'll use the national instruments to communicate to all these devices. So firstly I want to connect to this device, number three. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set it to a device address number one and I'm going to just echo. I'll open up another one. So I'm going to go to GPIB6 and I'm going to change this one to device address 2. And again, I'll give it an echo. Okay. So now what I want to do is I'm going to add the national instruments onto the bus. Okay, so it's now the national instruments is now added on the bus. And I will Use the communicator to talk to these devices. Okay, so we can see the GPIB zero down here, which is the national instrument. So I guess first of all we'll just talk to device one. Okay, so you can see that it's sent back some information there. Yeah. Okay, so we're able to talk to that device. connect to number two. Okay, we're talking to that device as well. So I'll just say device one, that repeats it back. Test two, and it repeats it back. So now we want to communicate with the MXE as well. So just connect one down here. Okay, so straight away it's answered Agilent E4400 or our E4440A, which is the MXA. Um, so I'll just double check that. So we start IDA question mark. Okay, yeah, okay, so it's responding to that. And I guess I can do instrument. So let's see what mode it's in. Okay, so it's in spectrum analyzer mode. I guess I can set that as well. Select. I'll set it to EMI. And then I'll just scroll back to see what mode it is. Yeah, so this um, this controller is just a very easy way of actually talking to the devices. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run a small test on 
uh, on the device mode. Just testing the communications, make sure it's all okay. TTR1. And then I'll just do 153. So all of this does is it, um, it tests the data that's sent out and comes back from the echo. You can see there. Okay, so that's it communicating. Now we do have more control over this because I can actually I can actually speed up the communications. Or not speed it up, but take out any delays that we use by default. Um, we can test that. As well. Typically, we put um, delays just to reduce the amount of communications in case there's any lost data. It just makes it easier. So, we'll run that again. Okay, yeah, it runs much faster that way. Excellent. Right, well, that was the introduction to the communicator and using it. Um, if you notice, uh, the settings here are an echo and simulator. I'm not using a simulator here because on this computer we don't have the simulators on it. Um, but we do build um, interfaces that um, if you want to manually interface with your instrumentation then we can either build your uh, uh, DLL that accesses your instrument um, or we can even make simulators up for you if that's something you'd like. So if you get in contact with us at support at crf-global.com and uh, tell us what your requirements are then we'll surely get back to you. Thanks very much for your time watching this and um, download it and see how it works.